Hi everyone, this is Terry Semt and this is a quick tutorial video to help you understand a little bit about NYU's uh, database system, at least how it's arranged, and enable you to get the top date eight databases that we're going to use into your My Databases section on the NYU Research site. So let's go ahead and begin. We're going to start at the NYU homepage. And uh, from there, we're going to go right to this section called Research. So we click through there, and we can see from the middle column, the library column, there's all sorts of useful information. And sometimes we just want to jump to something like uh, ProQuest directly. But for now, I want you to follow along with me uh, with this video as you have your own browser open and work through these steps, OK? We are going to click on the button called Articles and Databases. So here we go. And that opens up a brand new window. And it is a busy window. I don't want you to get freaked out by this. We can go through this later. But right now, I want you to look at two different sections. The first is Databases A to Z and eJournals A to Z. Databases are where all the large collections are held. And if you happen to know the name of an individual journal, you could look it up through eJournals A to Z. Okay? We're going to start with databases because I want you to add those databases to your My Databases list. So I'm going to show you how to do that. We start by clicking on the Databases A to Z. And as you can see, it goes A to Z. We're going to start by choosing one of the selected databases that I want you to have on your list, and that is called Project Muse. OK. So you're going to type that in, and then you're going to click Search. OK. And look at that. There's Project Muse. You could, if you wanted, just go to the database, but right now, I want you to do something for me, and that is go right to this green plus sign, and I want you to click the words Save Database. OK. Sometimes it takes more than one, so I'm kind of glad that uh, we got the access denied thing. If you try it again, it should kick in. OK. Now look at this. Suddenly, we have this thing called My Workspace. And in My Workspace, there's a section called My Databases. We're going to click through that because I want to show it to you. You should have only one thing on your screen under My Saved Databases. It's Project Muse. I have a bunch of things because I've been using a bunch of different databases. But I'm going to show you how to get all of these things onto uh, your site, OK? We're going to start by clicking this button here, Add Databases and Edit. Go ahead and do that, OK? Now, you're going to see a green button here that says Add Databases. We're going to start adding databases. So I'm just randomly picking Taylor and Francis. And you're going to add it. Remember, this is all written out on your homework assignments. So you don't have to freak out saying, oh my god, I don't have this list right here. It's all written out on your homework assignment. So Taylor and Francis, and then we're going to press Search. Now look at three things come down, but which looks the most like Taylor and Francis? Oh yeah, Taylor and Francis. We're going to click that plus sign. And that is automatically going to add that to your list. You can see I have this message that says the database was already added because I did that some other time. On your list right now, there should be two entries, Project Muse and Taylor and Francis. If you don't have them, I want you to start this movie from the beginning and practice until you get them into your database system. But let's say you're finished with that and you want to move on. The way you do that is clicking again, Add Databases, and then you go to your next one. I'm going to say JSTOR. I'm going to search. There it is. I click. 
and it shows up on my list. Now, uh, I'll do one more for you, just so you have it. Sage Journals Online. Search. There it is. Add it. There you go. Okay. Now I want you to stop this and I want you to add all of the items that are on the list in front of you. All of the databases. I want you to add each and every one of them to your list. Okay? I'm going to give you a couple of uh, seconds to do that and if I haven't given you enough time, no problem. You can stop this and work at your own pace. Okay? Okay, I'm going to assume that you've made short work of this, but no problem if you haven't. You can just stop the movie and work at your own pace and then start when you're ready again. When you've added all your databases to this list, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to click this link that says I'm done editing. And what that's going to do is dump you back into your saved databases. Now that we're here, I want to talk about this saved databases business and what the difference is between these little checked off boxes and the ones that are not checked. Some of the corporations that run databases have agreed to work together so that you can sort of do a one-stop shop and they on my list are JSTOR, Project Muse, Wiley, and ProQuest. And if that means that if you type uh, some search terms with those items checked, they will search all of them in one sort of stop, okay? So let's do um, a search and I'll, I'll show you how it's good and how it's not. So we've been doing this topic in uh, our digital media class, so I'm going to just bring it up. Internet Micro Celebrity. Okay. So here we are searching, and you can see right away how the search status is running. And um, we have one hit in the Wiley Journals, and then look, 3,000 in ProQuest. That is because uh, micro celebrity is a term that is being used in the newspaper and not as much in academic journals. And ProQuest is all about newspaper coverage, and Wiley, JSTOR, and Project Muse are more academic journals. So uh, you can see that out of all uh, 30 results here, almost all of them are going to be ProQuest. So uh, in a way, that's good, right? But in a way, we might want more academic stuff, and uh, we're not getting it here. But I happen to know that uh, there is one journal, uh, excuse me, one database that covers a lot of journals that deal with digital material, and that is Sage. And you see Sage isn't something you can click on to do the mass search. You have to do it by itself. So let's click through to Sage. There we go. And for here, you have to go in their search boxes, and I'm writing internet and micro celebrity. Now take a look at this. Now this is just one database as opposed to four, and I've already found four academic pieces that involve the word micro celebrity and internet. All right? So uh, this is why it's helpful to go through all the databases because different databases are housing different kinds of journals and different kinds of journals are dealing with different kind of material and you, unless you really know this stuff, you don't know until you know, okay? So uh, just to keep my sanity intact, I'm going to close some windows, I'm going to close this window and uh, now I seem to have lost my, my uh, uh, databases window, but that's good in a way because I want to teach you how to find it. So here we are back at the NYU Home site. We do a search. We do articles and databases. My databases. Okay. So now we are back here. The, uh, the last thing I want to show you is how you can look through the pages of um, uh, how you can look through the pages of back issues of a certain journal. All right. Uh, one way to do it is through 
the Articles and Databases tab up here, and the other way is to go right through the databases. So let's try both ways. Articles and Databases. Remember when I said e-journals A to Z, that was something that we were going to look at? We're going to look at it now. E-journals A to Z. Search for journal title. Let's say Journal of Popular Music. I think that's a journal. Better be. Let's see. Now it's searching for it. Okay. It doesn't seem to think it's a journal. This is what gets so difficult when you're um, trying to uh, look for journals. How about popular music? For some reason, it wants to be Journal of Popular Music Studies, not Journal of Popular Music. Okay, fine. Let's click through. All right, we see here that it is available from Wiley, and that is on one of our lists. Um, we can click right through here. That brings us to um, the Wiley site. And um, we can see a couple of things. First of all, we've got the current issue, and then we seem to have some past issues here, right? So if we go to the current issue, we can see these, uh, the titles of um, the essays that are on here. We've got something on Janelle Monet's Cold War. We've got something to I Can't Go to an Indie Girls Concert. Um, we've got New Age Music Consumption. Um, and. Uh, and we can look at any of these things because we have um, we have academic privileges to do that. There we go. All right. Now uh, I know for some of us our assignments are to look through back issues, and um, if that is your job, you need to look through your your, your back issues. And you, uh, that would be your most current issue, and then you go here, and that's your next one, right? And then you go back again. And that is how you uh, do essentially what would be pr uh, browsing the stacks at a library. Sometimes it gets a little confusing um, because uh, that's just what these things do. And uh, when it does get confusing, the first thing you do is close these windows. Uh, you go back here, you go back to journals, and um, let's see if we can do another one. New Media and Society. Okay, here we go. Same thing, we've got current issue, right? And then we've got uh, recent issues. You click through the current issue. There you go, all right? You can, um, uh, you can just cut and paste this if you're doing uh, um, citation information, all right? And really, that's all we've got to cover for today. Um, you have my email. I'm always ready for questions and we'll certainly talk in class about what you've figured out and what more things you want to pursue. And now I'm realizing it's 8 o'clock, so I need my dinner. <laughs> I'll talk to everybody soon.